the book, in one small step that might change your life for Robert Maurer. One day, author Robert Maurer saw a poster for Lexus Cars, detailing the many quality awards it had won over the past decade, which made him consider how this Japanese car maker could produce such high products. Quality constantly to seek out the solution, he had to travel back to the late 40s some years after the tip of war too. An American named Edward Deming came to Japan to assist the Japanese rebuild their manufacturing facilities D. Deming was largely to blame for improvements in American manufacturing during WI. Therefore the Japanese were excited to listen to what Japanese factory workers said that if they require to supply great products they need to ask themselves one thing a day what very small step am I able to go for improve the method or the merchandise that the Japanese bought and Deming's philosophy and even called it Kaizen through the appliance of Kaizen Japan that may rise from the rubble of warfare too and become a producing superpower by late 20th century author Robert Moore may be a healer at the University of California, and he wondered what if Kaizen may be as effective in changing people's lives as he was in transforming Japanese manufacturing to check his hypothesis. He began asking his patients to require something really small steps toward a very important change they wanted to require steps that seemed embarrassing instead of encouraging a client to depart in an unsatisfactory profession. He would have them spend some seconds on a daily basis imagining the main points of a dream job rather than telling a client to travel to the gym and exercise for 30 minutes. Time. He would ask them to run before of the TV during a billboard for one minute. If a patient wanted to prevent consuming caffeine from his diet, he would be asked to require a sip less a day. His patients couldn't find an excuse to not take steps because they needed no effort in any respect the full time. What he saw that these small steps led to shockingly big changes were his patients in their jobs that they liked to exercise regularly which he cut addictive foods from thieves diet recipe to form small changes is that the opposite of nearly what we hear from every YouTube motivational video or motivational speaker. Most inspirational conversations declare that if we would like to realize great things, we've to require big bold steps but taking big steps often backfires because although it should seem sexy at the instant the thrill fades quickly and fear of uncertainty and fear of failure if we let it go into college to start out a business. We quickly realized the quantity of labor required to begin a business and also the fear of stress and anxiety that happens when our brains detect these feelings, triggering a section of via the brain called the amygdala. By activating our fight or flight response when our fight or flight response is activated, we stop thinking rationally about long-term goals and appearance for the fastest thanks to relieve feelings of tension from tension and fear for thousands of years, which implies escaping from the tiger. But today this usually means distracting you with activities, relaxed confrontation, we will avoid fear of individuals rejecting our next commercial product by procrastinating and checking Facebook endlessly, we will avoid fear by visiting the gym and looking out below everyone else by lying on the sofa with a bowl of frozen dessert and watching TV well. Why is Kaizen an efficient CH strategy after we use Kaizen embarrassing small steps toward a goal we bypass the amygdala fear detection system and avoid activating our fight or flight response. This removes the need to distract us and allows us to require action without worrying of failure the more we take action, the faster we lay the groundwork for brand new positive habits. Robert says that with Kaizen your resistance to vary begins to weaken as once you have got felt overwhelmed by changing your new mental program, it'll cause you to move toward your ultimate goal at a pace which will exceed your expectations. Michael and award-winning DJ author Country Patient wants to form a compelling character for his new book, he's not thinking how I can create an excellent character that my readers will love. He's simply pondering a scene sort of a plane crash and asking himself some small and specific questions like who is that the guy on a plane why he's there. These questions are small and funny. The mind enjoys finding answers to those sorts of questions after I want to read a brand new book within the hope of learning something to boost my life. I start by asking myself what are some interesting chapter titles during this book after opening the book and finding a remarkable chapter title. I ask myself what a noteworthy story or example during this chapter, and shortly I find a story and this ends up in more questions at the top, but I rarely get a full book but it's rarely worn out sequential order. 
Notice how this differs, and if I ask myself how I can read this whole book and improve my life, it looks like a giant task and I'll put it pause until I've got longer or feel the urge to try to do it. So next time that you just end up asking big questions and feeling anxious, reduce the question, ask questions like what's next or the one thing I would like the second thanks to start adopting a Kaizen mindset is to begin specializing in smaller rewards within the book Robert talks a few businessmen called Jack Stubb suffers from acute rheumatism and is hospitalized with over 20 swollen joints that his doctors advised to avoid exercising the least bit times. But Jack was stubborn and started to require small steps by giving himself small rewards along the way every morning telling himself that each one he had to try to to was get out of bed when he got out of bed and stood upright. He would give himself a brief, sincere compliment like attaboy Jack then walked down the road to the gym by specializing in having a pleasing conversation with the staff there once on the treadmill that started Jack to steer for less than two minutes and rewarded himself with more praise and encouragement Robert says he's into the time he met Jack was in his 70s and he had one mister. Within the World Bodybuilding Contest in its age section, I learned that using smaller boards works fine rather than running a marathon rather than specializing in the satisfaction of finishing the marathon. I specialize in a little reward every mile by taking note of one among my favorite songs by asking small questions and using the rewards. The little seemingly silly one in a very moment, you are already implementing a good strategy to attain big goals that was the wonderful message I gathered from Robert's book. Robert presents many Kaizen strategies that you just can use to create a change in your life. Thanks for watching.